The PlayStation 4 is now a haven of open-world games. Embrace freedom like never before with these big titles coming out this year, next year, and beyond. Code Vein One of Bandai Namco's biggest titles is a month away. Blending role-playing elements and Souls-like combat into this massive open world, Code Vein feels edgier than most of its games. We don't have a lot of hope without you. As part of a hidden society of bloodthirsty badasses, you save the last remnants of humanity by harvesting the power of blood for your own self. You know, like a vampire. Travel freely around its dilapidated world. You can even grab an NPC or a friend to accompany you on your journey as you slay some crazy monsters. <laughs> And much like Dark Souls, there is no difficulty option. Every enemy encounter depends on how well you are at dodging and fighting. There's just no excuse here, so get good. Get the it's coming out this 27th of September. The only test of a man's worth is battle. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. A follow-up to Ubisoft's polarizing Wildlands. Breakpoint attempts to improve upon its predecessor's issues. This time, they're actually putting our skills to the test with a challenging difficulty setting and a big open world to explore. By big, we mean absolutely big. You take a man of a team of elite soldiers called the Ghosts, take on missions, and get to know their expansive lore behind its fictional world of Aroa. The map has reportedly over 800 secrets to discover. Which means, aside from killing enemies with the same loadouts as you are, you might also be swept away by its hefty content. Like all Ghost Recon titles, it focuses on multiplayer. Grab your mates and form a squad. Get to use the game's high-tech gadgets that include drones, smart rocket launchers, and so much more. It's coming out this 4th of October. Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey From the creator behind Assassin's Creed comes a whole new adventure through time. Instead of fighting in a never-ending war against the Templars, you are an ape trying to outsmart nature and adapt to the environment around you. Set 10 million years ago, step inside Neogene Africa. It's filled with lush vegetation, golden grasslands, and an unforgiving landscape. As a simple ape, you expand your territory and lead your band of simian friends to an odyssey of humankind. Slowly discover the world as you develop the best traits for your clan and evolve for the future generations. With Assassin's Creed's best open world features, climbing trees and running back and forth is no big deal, especially when you're in this vast, breathtaking view. <laughs> Amidst its dangerous territory, you can't ignore the fact that in a world without us is somehow beautiful. Coming this December 2019. Gods and Monsters. The third of five Ubisoft titles on this list. They sure are confident with their open world talents. The team behind Assassin's Creed Odyssey returned to give us another taste of that Greek history. You take control of a brave warrior wielding the power of the gods. After the Pantheon's unfortunate demise by the deadly Typhon, it's your chance to rebuild the fallen world. Although there aren't enough details about their gameplay as of the moment, you could tell that Breath of the Wild is part of the inspiration. The game is coming to the PlayStation 4 this February 25th, 2020. Watch Dogs Legion Technology continues to doom the world in this latest Watch Dogs game from Ubisoft. Retake London from the hands of greedy politicians and form a legion of hacktivists determined to reform society with their cell phones. In Legion, the best thing about this title is the fact that you can play as anyone. You're no longer playing as the brooding man in Chicago or the smart kid from San Francisco. From white-collar members of society to a retired grandma, anyone can be a character with their own story and abilities. Legion does expand on their open-world elements. 
Futuristic London is home for high-tech gadgets and appliances, so messing things up only takes one tap from your smartphone. Nothing is more satisfying than checking out everyone's search history and profiles like it's nothing. It comes out this March 6th, 2020. Cyberpunk 2077 CD Projekt Red has raised the bar in fantasy action RPGs with The Witcher 3, and now they're looking to do the same thing in the world of futuristic sci-fi action. Cyberpunk 2077 lets you roam around the dystopian metropolis of Night City, where the lost leaps and corporations control everything. Staying true to the classic RPGs, Cyberpunk also gives you that power as you get to customize everything from your character appearance, stats, and background stories to modifications that you can change up with every mission. Having to play in the first-person perspective might have been a little disappointing for some, but it does work to immerse us in their world that feels fully alive, packed with citizens of all shapes and body modifications. CD Projekt Red has been leading in the world of RPG immersion, and we can't wait to hang around with Keanu when it comes out on April 16th, 2020. Dying Light 2 Techland introduces the customizable post-apocalypse in this sequel to the acclaimed open-world zombie game, a series built on combat, graphics, and co-op multiplayer, and day and night cycle. Dying Light 2 stands firm on all those aspects in this second installment. What makes this sequel exciting is the added focus on player choices. Building on a brand new engine, the city in Dying Light 2 isn't just four times bigger, it will also react to whatever decisions you make along the way. With so many of them planted into a more focused narrative, they open up a host of possibilities that will make each playthrough feel special. And with the added mobility of the new protagonist, Aiden Caldwell, it also means more ways of dealing with the zombies of the night. Already an impressive zombie title, the stakes are even higher in the sequel, and it's coming early next year. Ghost of Tsushima With the many big names in samurai gaming, Ghost of Tsushima still stole our hearts, with a gameplay debut pack with an earnest authenticity. In Ghost of Tsushima, you take on the sandals of the last samurai, desperately fighting against the Mongol invasion in the year 1274. Ghost of Tsushima's atmosphere feels rich, from its gloomy and majestic environment, the quiet playing of the flute in the backdrop, to its all-worthy textures and detail. Atmosphere is only the beginning, though. This attention to detail can also be seen in combat that's quick, slick, and incorporates stealth seamlessly into each scene. It looks like all those consulting with cultural and sword fighting experts have paid off. And it's only gonna get better with more time in the oven. No release date just yet. Wild. Meanwhile, as Michael Ansel clearly has his hands full with Beyond Good and Evil, it looks like this supposed PS4 exclusive has been suffering the consequences. Where Beyond Good and Evil is more space and science-y, Wild deals with the more earthly theme of nature. Playing as a powerful shaman, you will get to harness the powers of the wild by taking control of any animal available, each equipped with abilities you can take advantage of. Wild can surely keep us entertained for long, balancing the loftier fantasy with the urgent practicalities of wildlife survival on land, sea, or air. Wild was announced more than three years ago in 2015. Looking at their first trailer now, it may look a little outdated and clunky. Its premise is just as attractive as it was. No news of a release date just yet, but having renewed its license last March, at least we know it hasn't been canceled yet. 
Bon appetito. Beyond Good and Evil 2. This upcoming sequel to Michael Ansel's 2003 action adventure has been stuck in development hell for years. However, there's definitely promise in the gorgeous trailers Ubisoft has released so far. While the original was mostly a memorable cult classic, this sequel is definitely an ambitious undertaking. Not only do the trailers hint at a sprawling, vertically inclined metropolis populated by humans and animal hybrids and navigable through jetpacks and flying vehicles, but it also stretches open world gaming to a whole new level. Apart from the massive hub city, there's also the open star system to think about. Even out here in orbit, you can seamlessly transition from piloting a ship to spacewalking with a nano spacesuit to protect you from the vacuum. These are all ours to explore as we take on the role of space pirate armed with swords and a variety of augments. Confirmed to be a prequel feature, Beyond Good and Evil 2 is going to be for those new to the series to jump into the vast space monkey pirate adventures to come. Unfortunately, no release date just yet.